All right, I want to make this tutorial video really quick about how to install software in Linux. I'm using Linux Mint 15, which is the latest version of Linux Mint. Um, here in about a month or so, keep in mind it's October 1st of 2013. In about a month or so, uh, Linux Mint 16 is expected to release. I'm excited about it because Linux Mint 15 uh, was, was pretty good, I mean, in my opinion. Um, I want to show you how to install software in Linux. And you notice I hover my mouse over here. It says Synaptic Package Manager. It's one of the most common ways I use. Or you can use the Software Manager. Um, you can find it in the menu here. You can find it in Administration. There's Synaptic, Synaptic Package Manager. You can um, you can also find it in System. You can find it in System Tools. You can use the um, Oh, where is it? I know it's got to be in here somewhere. Well, administration. Um, um, hmm. Oh, software manager right there. See, it says install new applications. Um, but, um, so yeah, you can either use the Synaptic Package Manager, which is one of my favorite, or you can use a software manager. Um, or if you want to use the terminal, you can just um, type in then the name of the program you want to install. But I don't want to do that. So anyway, I'm going to run the Synaptic Package Manager, and I'm going to put in my uh, super user password because I'm going to make uh, changes to the system. And you know, I was talking to somebody on the internet today about uh, you know using portable apps, which is um, you know a bunch of free open source software, and then it, it's compiled for the Microsoft Windows uh, operating system platform and then it's turned into a portable application that you can run from a USB flash drive or an external USB hard drive but I want to do something like that in Linux so we talk about as, um, let's see well not runs but uh, um, if I could spell it right launchy <clears throat> and I just typed in the name of the program and um, see we get a description. Uh, Launchy is the most uh, efficient way to open files, folders, websites, and programs on your computer. Instead of having to browse menus to find an application, Launchy is a smart search program which tries to guess the program. Okay. So we want to install it. We just click mark for installation and it tells us anything that it might need. We're going to um, we're going to add uh, Launchy plugins and Launchy skins. Um, and, um, we're just searching for any types of uh, stuff. Um, Now there's a program I used to know of, Zero. Zero install injector. Um, Zero installs a decentralized cross distribution software installation system available under the lesser, you know, general public license. And then, well, I don't want to really necessarily get rid of that. Wait. Nah, I'm just going to ignore that. Um, let's see. Look for an arcade emulator. Okay, XMAME tools. I'm going to install that. Um, and a PlayStation emulator. All right. 
This is how we install software in Linux. Oh, we're going to get another program. Mm. <clears throat> I heard that PlayStation 2 emulators exist, but um, I don't find, I haven't seen one right here. Bluetooth support. All right. Um, oh, asterisk PBS. Oh, PBX. Yeah, the um, friend of mine up in Idaho asked me about. Uh, he's talking about asterisk. Uh, I think he uses it or something like that, but I'm not wanting to install it. Alright, now, um, now, whenever you're done searching for whatever software you want to install and you've selected everything like I've just done, simply click Apply. And then it tells you what is going to be installed, all this stuff that's going to be installed, and then it tells you what's going to remain unchanged. Okay, it tells you um, what packages will be installed, how much extra space will be used, and how much you need to download from the internet. And then you click apply whenever you're ready. And then you just wait for it. And this is the typical way that you install software in Linux. And it, and it's finished. And, and you know any of these the typical Linux operating systems like Debian or Linux Mint, which I'm using here, or Ubuntu. I mean, there's other similar ways in um, these other Linux operating systems, uh, GNU Linux operating systems. But it's it's pretty much based upon this process. Um, You know, if you use the uh, software manager, it's pretty good. Here's the software manager. It's pretty good. Now, the one in Ubuntu looks more like a website. This one's still pretty good. Um, just type in whatever you want to look for. And um, yeah, get your categories. The check mark here means that it's installed already because I went through and installed a lot of things. And uh, we'll install Burger Space through um, through the software manager. So we select it and we double click on it. Now this is a different method. This is the more recent method for installing software. Shows a picture of it here, and it kind of looks like a website. Um, in Ubuntu, it looks even more like a website. I mean, it looks really good in Ubuntu, but it's still good in Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu. It's just Anyway, so now it's installed, and um, 
We have our programs in the menu. See, there's Burger Space. I just installed it through the software manager. And then for, um, what did I install in, um, okay, where's that? Um, Now I installed this one right here, the PCSX uh, emulator um, from the Synaptic Package Manager. Um, but I mean, they work. Um, but anyway, that's the point of this video is just to show. Now, what's this doing here? Another application is using apt. Okay, let's find out what application is using that. Mm, I didn't see anything. Um, it's using the package manager. Oh well. But anyway, I just want to make this quick video to show how to install software in um, GNU Linux, um, which typically people just often call Linux. But specifically, I'm using Linux Mint, which is very easy. Several of these other operating systems are, uh, these Linux operating systems are still easy to use. And, um, yeah. There's one other way through the uh, command prompt and um, through the terminal here. It's really easy. All you gotta do is like know the name of the um, program. Uh, Yeah, I'm looking for search. No, it's pretty easy in this. I'm just updating a list of packages. Oh, look at this. Um, maybe get a new kernel. Yeah, Linux generic, Linux. Yeah. So I'll be getting a new kernel. I just can't get over these transparencies. It's so neat. You know, you can just
just see through the back of that. And you can set it up. It's pretty easy. I mean, just go in here and you just like, I don't know, like. Uh, oh, what is it? Uh, I think it's like profile preferences or whatever. Colors. And you can choose your background. You can choose the transparency level. So you can make it, you know, much more transparent, um, less. So you can totally adjust your transparency. Totally opaque. Progress it over. And you can even make it totally transparent. Pretty easy to do in Linux. Now, I think I'm going to end this video now and just show you a bit of the process and three different methods. So, uh, yeah, till next time, you know, just keep playing with stuff, keep learning. That's what people have to do. Just let curiosity be your guide and always be careful and cautious, but follow your curiosity, learn how to do things, you know.